Hey, I'm Kalash and today I'm making Medusa. I started by making the body out of wire and super sculpy clay. I actually have zero knowledge about human anatomy, so I just made a somewhat human shape and tried to refine it later. To protect her modesty, I'll cover her up for now. I added a neck and stick the toothpick in it for some stability. I wanted her to have very prominent collarbones, so I blended in little snakes of clay. I did the same thing for the neck muscles. I had never made hands before, so I started making something super hideous and then just kept working on it for hours and hours until it started looking human. I also added very long nails, which look nice, but they are very thin and with my handling, I ended up breaking three of them later on. But a little super glue fixed everything. After baking the body, I went over it with a glove and some bacon bond to add some skin texture. After finishing the hands and thinking the worst is over, uh, it was time to make the head. Luckily for me, I had decided to cover most of her face with snakes, so I only needed to make a nose and mouth. Medusa is supposed to be ugly in this state, and I wasn't trying to make her that way, but it worked in my favor. She also looks like her lips got stung by a bee, but I ended up fixing that later. For the snakes, I started by making the head first. The clay I'm using is very soft, so it kept bending out of shape, so they didn't turn out as detailed as I wanted. I baked the heads and then attached the bodies after. I gave them a little underbelly and then used one of my sculpting tools to add a scale-like texture. Covered her bald head in bacon bond and started attaching the snakes. The snake on her hand originally had a thin tongue, but by the end of the video, it's already gone, so it's probably somewhere on my floor. I painted her body in a light tone and went over it with an even lighter dry brush to bring out the skin texture. To make it a bit more interesting, I painted her lips in a dark purplish color. And also painted her nails in the same tone. I painted the snakes in a greenish gray, but they look plain gray on camera for some reason. Then went over it with a dark wash to bring out all of those scale details. And added a light dry brush over the top of the snakes.
I also went over them again with a light purple dry brush, which actually made the snakes look like stones in real life, but I think it's fitting considering her powers. And painted all the snake eyes in a dark yellow. I wanted to pour a darker layer of resin at the bottom to add some depth, but I failed and made it way too light and see-through. After that was dry, I glued on the sculpture and poured in another layer of lighter resin. Originally, I was planning to put her in a well with some LEDs on the bottom, but I didn't like how it looked and the LEDs just didn't diffuse no matter what I tried, so I decided to keep it for some other project. I created some water ripples with UV resin. The UV resin always seems a bit sticky to me after curing, so I went over it with a layer of gloss Mod Podge. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!